Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here for a quick unboxing of my September cloth and paper subscription box. So let's get started. Okay, this is super noisy. Let me maybe take everything out. What do you think? First of all, I should have known not to turn this whole stack around because that box opened and you know that that team is gonna put everything in there exactly the way it should be. So um, we get started with this beautiful print. I do love these full size prints when they come because you can cut them down to use in any size planner or frame them if you want. So it's always nice to have this encouragement in the right on the top of your box. Now I did not look at any sneak peeks except for one thing that they shared via email that I have a feeling it's on the bottom of this stack. It's nice to get a subscription box and actually be surprised instead of seeing 50 previews or videos out before you even get your box. All right, so we have the avant-garde dots and the avant-garde is the color and these are just little sticky dots. So that's really gonna be nice in my financial planner. We have a November card and it looks like some other goodies in here. So let's open this. As I opened this little bundle, I realized that one of the things that I'm loving about cloth and paper this year is that it is beautiful. It's very luxurious feeling and it's high quality, but it is so functional. So this little November card which you've seen in my previous videos, I will punch this and use it as like a top divider to go to the month. But then you have an actual tip card for creating a zero inbox, inbox zero. So setting a time limit for how long you're gonna go through it, delegate, deleting or categorizing items and so on. Very great, a little insert. I love these top three priority cards and being able to tuck these into the front pockets of my planner. And then another encouragement card. I love this because if you tuck this into the left side pockets of your cloth and paper agenda, you can have this part, you know, sticking right out the top to remind you to kind of just think about what success really looks like, what it means. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Linen, this is a beautiful color and a circle sticky note. I cannot get enough of the sticky notes from cloth and paper, but I have not allowed myself to order very many extra because I know I usually get some form of them in the subscription box, which I love getting, and I don't need to have every color, every shape, every size in my office at all times. So. This will be a beautiful complement. It's a nice light color that will be easy to write on. It's a good size, so there's plenty of room to actually put information down. Love those. Next, we have this beautiful memo pad. And now that I think about it, I do believe there was a sneak peek of this as well. This is not a sticky pad. It is simply a notepad, but this is beautiful. And I think this is gonna be a good replacement for something I keep on my desk in this office because this is you know, a great complement to my office color scheme. If you have not seen pictures of my craft room and office, you can go see some of that in, on my Instagram highlights, I believe I have it saved, but I really do need to finish cleaning some things up and do a tour. If you'd like to see an office tour, let me know in the comments for sure. Then we have these beautiful half page task inserts. I'm super excited about this being in here. I did not know this was gonna be in here, but this is going to be a fantastic divider for my financial planner for the month, just to be able to make notes if I call somebody and need to make notes of what they said. This is gonna be a great insert for that. I don't think I'll take those out, but I love that surprise. And on this topic, so mine are all punched for A5 because that is what I have chosen for my subscription box. If you're not familiar, you actually designate what type of items you get in your subscription box based on your planner size. So I love that about the cloth and paper subscription box. A November dashboard, much like what we have gotten the last couple months, which 
again, I love, and I love the encouragement throughout the items. Oh, this is a nice surprise. So we have an inbox dashboard. And let me take this out because I'm wondering, yeah, you can actually already see it here. So this, it looks blue right now, but it, it has a protective film. I believe this is the glass insert style. Look at that. That is just another element that speaks to the quality of these items and this company and just providing that protection so that it will not be scratched when you receive it. I'm probably going to scratch it up while I use it because I'm a functional planner. <laughs> okay. Oh, and quarterly divider. So let's see. Fall, winter, 2020, issue number five, volume three, cloth and paper. How fun. Okay, now that I'm thinking about this, so to me, the fourth quarter, we're going into the fourth quarter. So let's see what the card says. <laughs> let's see. Oh, you guys. This inbox dashboard is dry erase. So that's super functional as well. Okay, so let's look at the card to see. Yeah, so it says fall winter 2020 magazine dashboard. It's almost sweater weather. Celebrate the new season with the chic design for your planner. So, um, I mean, you can make this whatever you want to make it, but for me, this is a little bit confusing. <laughs> Not sure what the three is about because to me, fall and winter is fourth quarter, but I mean, you could cover it up and use it for sticky notes. Okay. It changes dashboard. Again, I love the color. This is definitely my style. So I'm loving cloth and paper. So this one is like a, a cardstock kind of material and it's a nice soft pink on this side. It's just plain white on the other side. It's pretty thick. So I think it'll be pretty durable. And man, if you saw my, let's see, coming up next will be my October plan with me. And I talk about some of the changes in our lives this year, not just with what everybody's been dealing with, but just our own family. So this is perfect. November inserts, much like the others that we have received the last couple months. So let me open those up so you can see. So you have this fantastic dashboard, which I love the monthly view. And then because it is combined with the weekly view, it immediately goes into that weekly view. And then these inserts start the first full week of the month. So for example, November 1st is on a Sunday and these are a Monday start. So November 1st is on the last week in October and then the November weekly view starts on the 2nd. That is hard for me. That is one thing that I am not completely in love with about these inserts. But what I have been doing in my financial planner is using these to track our actual spending every single day, no matter what it's on. And then I can summarize for the week by category and compare to our budget. But that part has been super functional. So I do love these for that purpose. It goes through the whole month. And then inside we have another insert and this is an inbox insert. And these are great. So you can tuck these in wherever you need them and you can use the icons to designate different functions. If you wanted to keep one for each kind of category, you could have one for your email, regular mail, reminder, you know, however you want to use the icons. So there's four of these and they are double-sided. So that's great. That is a fun kit. Let's look through here real quick. So we had the November vertical weekly, and that's where I said I've been tracking our spending half page task inserts, which I'm looking forward to for notes. Um, this would also be great. It says a to-do list, a wish list. 
This would also be great to track things we think we want to buy, but we're kind of waiting on, or maybe we're watching the prices on, and you could move that list from month to month. Inbox inserts, which I just showed you at the end, the dry erase inbox dashboard, the changes dashboard, which was that soft pink color, a November month cover dashboard, and the fall winter magazine style dashboard. So a lot of dashboards in this kit. I kind of wish it was um, maybe not so many dashboards, but I know that's a big appeal of this type of system. So I understand why they did that. The memo notepad, 50 sheets on that, and that is in the linen color if you're looking to add that from the cloth and paper site. The linen circle sticky notes, I absolutely love that color, so now it's good to know that linen is definitely a color I would like to incorporate more into my planner, um, and of course, as well as the um, notepad in that color. And then avant-garde sticky dot stickers and several journaling cards. So if you don't know, the cloth and paper subscription box, you can do one month at a time. As I mentioned, you can pick the planner size or style that it's punched for, um, or like even disc bound planning. And you can also opt to do three months at a time. So for $100, you would get a three month monthly subscription, which makes it $33 a month. And that is how I paid for it. So I think this has been a great value. And it's really just amazing quality and a very nice perk for my, and it's just amazing quality. So I really enjoy getting these boxes. I hope you guys will join me soon for another video. Make sure if you like this one to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll get notified when I post more videos. Since I'm still fairly inconsistent with this, since I work full-time and have full-time family responsibilities, being subscribed is the best way to get notified as soon as a video goes live. I hope you guys have a great day and a great month. Talk to you soon.